Hi, this is Lily Cotilla, and welcome to Plant Medicine Therapy Tips. When one is using ibogaine, or under the influence of ibogaine, one might say, the music backdrop that one listens to is extremely important for not only the vibrations of the plant medicine and the interactions of your body, but from a mental standpoint to really bring you places and spaces, perhaps never even yet traveled, an introductory to new notes, new sounds, whether it be percussion or flute or um, tones of voices, whether the music is alto or soprano or that of nature, um, that of even a, a construction type of vibratory noise. These are all important to incorporate with Ibogaine because it helps to continue to switch channels and to continue to explore, you know that game, um, what is it called, Parcheesi, and there's a round circle and you know, Trivial Pursuit, you fill that round circle with all the different wedges. So the different groupings of music um, are important so that the psyche, the being, can enter different, as I mentioned, places and spaces. It's also important not to use any songs that have words in them. Words kind of anchor people in time and in generations, and they have lots of meaning to them, not only in terms of one's personal, perhaps, memory and possible trauma associations, but the nuances of words and interpretations are so unique to each person that if music with words is overplayed in conjunction with ibogaine, it doesn't allow the spirit to truly free travel and into the universal source place of all-knowing, transcendent of language, because music with words would keep you more bound in time, which is also needed, but not for the purposes of ibogaine use and for recovery. So keep things, these things in mind. You can, um, oh, one more thing when working with a therapist and identifying the part of body that is affected most adversely by an emotion, let's say anxiety or depression or happiness or fear, that part of the body um, is important to identify therapeutically such that music can also be chosen that is chakra balancing with respect to the particular chakra and associated organ that needs balancing, whether it's the crown, the heart, the root, the shape, the sacral. So keep these things in mind so that you can be a participant of your own best recovery, not just the location that you choose. I wish you the best and hopefully look forward to meeting you.